What's up guys, Marion Gaines here from Unplug Fitness. Today we're gonna to talk about alcohol and building muscle or losing fat. Does it negatively affect you? And if so, how? So, does alcohol ruin your physique? Let's get into it. First, what is alcohol? It's a drink that contains ethanol and is fermented by grains, fruit, and other sugars, all right? It's important to note that alcohol is a macro and it's actually seven calories per gram. How does alcohol affect you? Well, the positives are, lowers your inhibition, right? Lets you do more fun things, decreases your anxiety, increases your social capacity, and it helps build trust among your social peers, all right? Negative, detrimental to your health, hurts productivity, and it lowers your inhibition, which can lead to you doing other things that you otherwise would have not done had you been sober. So from a fitness standpoint, how does alcohol affect you? Well, it creates metabolic chaos, more on this later. It decreases your inhibition, which leads to bad choices, empty calories, almost no satiating effect, which means that feeling of fullness and satisfaction from consumption of calories, since it's empty calories, it lowers your testosterone levels, it decreases your muscle protein synthesis, which is your body's ability to create new muscle mass. It decreases your performance in the gym. Now, metabolic chaos. Basically guys, alcohol is a foreign substance that once it goes into your body, your body starts prioritizing getting rid of that versus metabolizing the food that you're consuming. Carbohydrates and fat that you consume are gonna be more likely to be stored as body fat when you consume alcohol, since that takes a back seat to getting rid of the booze from your system. I wanna talk about the Gain Thief team and touch on this a little bit further, okay? Which is lowered inhibition, empty calories, and no satiating effect. These three factors are a match made in heaven for fat gain. Basically, the empty calories create hunger from zero satiation, thus increasing the potential for you to overconsume calories. As we all know, overconsumption of calories is what leads to fat gain, and alcohol consumption with these three factors definitely helps contribute to that. Next, we're gonna talk about testosterone, muscle protein synthesis, and performance. So alcohol does lower testosterone acutely. One study showed 45% less testosterone in ER patients uh, that were intoxicated versus sober males. Um, another study showed eight to nine drinks decreased muscle protein synthesis by about 37%. And muscle protein synthesis, guys, is the ability for your body to forge new lean body mass, aka muscle mass from your training, okay? And then alcohol um, definitely hurts your potential to perform well, which hurts your potential for hypertrophy. As we know, progressive overload is very important for hypertrophy, and if your ability to perform is diminished, well, how are you gonna get better over time if you can't perform? So I know you guys are gonna drink anyway, so what I've done is I've taken a list of things that you can do to help mitigate the damage that's gonna come from a night of drinking. So first, you wanna minimize your dietary fat on your drinking day. You wanna drink during a cut rather than a bulk. You wanna drink a lot of water. Intermittent fasting might be a great tool to help you control calories, because if you constrain your eating to a certain time period, it's gonna make you better able to adhere to that caloric allotment that you have for the day. Drink on your rest day and then train the next day. One study actually showed that acute alcohol consumption coupled with sleep deprivation did not negatively impact neuromuscular adaptations, but obviously this is only gonna happen in the short term, guys. Don't make a habit out of it. If your goal is to get lit, then you definitely probably wanna drink all your drinks in one sitting. That way you're gonna be less tempted do things later on in the evening or get even more drunk. Another thing you wanna do is you wanna take in some curcumin powder, lots of protein and lots of carbs prior to your drinking, okay? And this is gonna help with the hangover, being satiated, and help curb the negative effects that are gonna come from drinking. Now, is, is this a solution to drinking? Not really, but we're trying to minimize the damaging effects that alcohol is going to have on your training. With that said, guys, I always say this, drink for the occasion, don't make the occasion to drink. The reality is if you consistently drink alcohol, you're going to impede your ability to train, recover, and build a good physique in the long term. So if you're serious about this, you're gonna wanna minimize the drinking and save it for really special occasions 
and focus on your training, okay? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Studies are gonna be in the description box. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Unplugged Fit. My website is unpluggedfit.com. Share this video with a gym bro that drinks every weekend and isn't making gains, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.